Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough on the NeoPixel Shrike. As you can see here, um, this is a Profi Saber, and uh, this is how it came. So I didn't change anything about it. Some of the fonts um, don't have their proper colors on, which is fine with me because um, it just forces me to learn how this thing works, and, and I really want to know how this thing works so that um, I can start maybe making my own fonts. Uh, if I make my own fonts, obviously, like, I'd probably make them for free because, um, it sounds like fun, like, make, like, making sound fonts that would, um, like, I'd be able to make what my sound, uh, lightsaber would sound like, and I just think that would be really cool, so I'd probably just make them for free because my payment is getting, or is being able to make it, um, so, yeah, as I said, I haven't changed anything with the saber at all. I've looked at the files, I've tried to change stuff. And um, I've probably spent a total of four hours trying to learn how this thing works, and I honestly cannot figure it out. I can't. Ch I can't even change the color, so I have no idea how this thing works. Um, but when I do find out and change the colors to what they're supposed to be, I will make another video. Most of them are what they're supposed to be, though, um, and you will see a repeating color a lot. But that's just because most of the fonts on here are supposed to be that color so first one is Leia tilt the camera down a little bit more here's the arm of my chair there I have this camera on a chair Wow, wait a minute. I could not see that tip drag on there, but it looked like you guys could see it. That was a little strange. Button is uh, red, by the way, and you can't change that. So. At least I don't think you can. There might be a way to in the files, but if I don't even know how to change the blade color, how am I going to be able to know how to change the button color? Now, you actually can change the blade color when you're on it. Yeah. So if you want a um, pink, I guess you could do that. Red, got a nice orange, yellow, lime, green, and then this is like ice blue. It flickers when you swing it too, which is really cool. Ray Skywalker. Now we have um, Ray Skywalker, which is a uh, Ray's yellow one. But if you look. It's blue. So let me go ahead and change the color here. There we go. And then we'll redo that ignition. Trust me, guys, if I knew how to change the color, I would. I've been all over the forums asking people for help. Um, they can't help me because there's a problem with, like, um, I don't know what it is, but I'm trying to um, convert the config file onto this so that the color will be changed. Or I don't want to change the color, but like I can't get that config file onto here. Which is very annoying. Because an error keeps popping up and I've gone on the forms and they don't even know what it is, so. I've gone on to, um, not only uh, like lightsaber forms, I should probably like tilt this up a little bit so my face is empty. Um, not only in lightsaber forms, but um, also like coding forms and stuff. I've gone on there. Um, Arduino is the, or Arduino, I don't know how to say it. That's the software that you use to convert. And um, I went on that form and talked about it. They didn't know how to do, uh, what to do. So I was very surprised. That lightsaber 
was Luke's. This is um the Graflex from or Rayflex from Force Awakens. This blade is longer, so I'm not gonna be doing as many tricks as I do with the saber tree. Not only is it uh, longer in blade length, but also substantially longer in uh, hilt length. I think it's like two or three inches longer than the, um, the Falcon that I have. The one thing I don't like about the Saber is it's like a dark light. The tip isn't uh, illuminated. Or it is illuminated, but not nearly as much as the rest of the blade. Oop, my bad. I don't know what this one is called, actually. Again, I, I got this very, very recently, so... I can't see that. I literally, I literally cannot see that in real life. Ben Solo. This one's Ben Solo. One of my favorites. It's like a. It's not really an unstable, but it's like a flame. It's like a flame blade blue. One of the best parts about the saber is the clash. Look at that, and then you can. Damn it. Make the saber lag. Not a smart idea. Also, if you didn't notice, royal blue. And then it turns to like a, a regular blue as I'm swinging it. it turns to like a lighter uh, shade of blue. So the Profi, in my opinion, is superior to the Crystal Focus. But the Crystal Focus is much much easier to program and much easy much easier to understand so but they're both really really similar it's not like the crystal focus is bad they're both insanely good although this one could be a whole lot better if i understood um how it works Tip drag on this one might be no tip drag. There's no tip drag on this. Okay. One of my favorites. Dark saber. Now I have this exact same font on my uh, crystal focus, but it does not sound nearly as good as the profi one for some reason. Even though it's made by the exact same company. Um, it's the exact same font. Nice, um... Wow, I can't believe I can't think of it. Uh, the blasters Jenga Fett uses. So this is an unstable. You can see the Kylo Ren one was like a flame. I mean, the Ben Solo. I'm so scared that I'm gonna hit this. Also, this one's a lot more sensitive than the Crystal Focus. Can you see that? No tip drag on this one, either. So. You guys are gonna be surprised by this one. What do you think it is? We've had two Ray ones so far. What do you think is left? Dark Ray. So, technically not Ray, but definitely um, Ray's evil side, Ray Palpatine. 
I like to think of Rey Skywalker as uh, Jedi Rey and uh, Rey Palpatine as Sith Rey, and then I think of Rey as just um, like Force Awakens Rey. I love the flash on this one. Getting all the prequel vibes from it. One of my favorite things about this one is the blaster deflect, or not just the spawn, the saber, is the blaster deflect. You don't see me doing that in um, all my um, uh, Crystal Focus videos, and it's because on Crystal Focus, you, you press the blaster deflect and you swing at the same time for like a force push uh, sound effect, at least on most sound phones. Which I hate because. What are you gonna block the uh, black ball? Jeez, block blasters like this? No, you're gonna be like, you know? I think I already showed the clash. No, not the yeah, the the lockup. Excuse me. The force is with you, young Skywalker. You are not Jedi yet. Okay, so. Me, as well as many other people, first thought that this was a Darth Vader sound font. It's not. It's Luke. It's supposed to be like Vader's talking to you through the saber. So this is, um, yeah, this is Luke. From Empire. Definitely one of my favorites. It can sound like Vader's, though, except for the ignition. Like, the ignition is very clearly a Jedi ignition. So you can definitely tell when um, the sound effects are original trilogy or not. Tip drag? Yep, there's a tip drag. That is a very strange tip drag sound. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Kylo Ren. Obviously. This one is incredibly similar to the one on um, the uh, Crystal Focus, which this is a really good sound font, but I've seen like FET263 videos where he has his um, Kylo Ren, like the actual cross guard saber, and he has like fonts on that. Those fonts are pretty nice. They probably go for a lot too. Like most fonts go for... Um, 10 to 12 dollars or smooth swing fonts like regular fonts you can go for like seven bucks um but uh the, the kylo ren one goes for 13 and i'm assuming that one's probably gonna go for like 15. very similar to the one on crystal focus See. This one kind of reminds me of like a light side Palpatine from Clone Wars. Like if Palpatine was a Jedi and he was in Clone Wars, or he is in Clone Wars, but like Jedi Palpatine in Clone Wars. Just because of the puttering. Now the video is getting long and I don't want to run out of stories, so... I have to go a little quicker. Smooth Jedi. Smooth Jedi. I think these ones are uh, all from uh, default. The Profi. Um, like, even if you didn't buy Crim from Crimson Dawn, you just bought, like, the soundboard alone. Smooth Gray. Smooth Gray. So, pretty similar, actually. We'll just see. Maybe the class is different or the lockup. Yep. Nice. Smooth fuzz. Smooth fuzz. There we go. 
bro. That was a little weird. Rogue Commander. Not a fan of this one at all, actually. So, I'm sorry I can't do more, but I'm gonna run out of storage pretty soon. Okay, so now we're back to TNT. So those are all the fonts. Actually, there is a strobe light mode on this, but I'm going to skip it because I know people um, can react differently to flashing lights. I know I skipped the um, the the clash lockup and all that stuff on um, one of the later ones. I'm sorry, um, but I'm going to run out of storage any second now, so I have to end the video. The lockup sounds are probably very similar to the um, the TNC and the Smooth Jedi's, uh, Smooth Fuzz, stuff like that. Those last ones were all very similar to each other. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see the strobe one, I'll probably do an individual video on it and give an epilepsy warning before the video starts. Um, because it is a really cool one. It sounds really cool and obviously it looks cool because it's a strobe light and it's a lightsaber. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, I will see you guys. In the next video, um, goodbye. This is a pretty good saber, by the way. Um, I when I was talking about like how it's hard to program, that's just because um, I'm new to it. But I will definitely get used to it. And um, once I understand it, uh, you guys are gonna see some really really cool stuff come from it. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.